Hey, what is up mortals? It is James here for N. Before we get into today's video, a link to my Patreon will be in the description below, as well as a link to the Discord group chat, which is where you can talk to myself and other mortals over different topics. There are quite a few of you already there and it would be awesome if you joined us. By the way, just in case you don't already know, there may be spoilers for upcoming arcs in My Hero Academia. That is your spoiler warning. So where we left off in part 7, Ozuku was preparing for the tournament arc. His body was extremely damaged, however, he is trying to find a way to be a hero even like this. The specialized suit is extremely limiting and difficult to move in, and it's a bit bulky but allows for some movement and Ozuku has been training to be able to move in the suit. The suit has also received several modifications to allow Zuku to move better and the final modifications will be added just before the tournament itself. The suit can handle up to 20% of one for all without breaking apart or being torn apart. So once Zuzuku was back at school, Sir Night Eye would speak to him after hours and before and after school. He would talk to him about All Might and the type of person he was. He would also talk to Zuku about being a hero and if it was really what was best for him after all he's been through. Deku was still 100% set on being a hero though. Nothing would change his might. It was finally time for the tournament. Thankfully Izuku filled out the form so that he could use his mobility suit. Deku is extremely nervous but determined. He knows that he's the most physically challenged there, however he is the most experienced at least in his opinion, everyone lines up to begin the first event. The countdown begins. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin! The alarm goes off. The instant the first event begins, a massive amount of ice covers the ground, freezing 90% of the students in place. The rest are mainly 1A students, and they make their way out towards the massive robot area. Deku breaks through of the ice and makes his way out. He runs out to the center area where all the robots are. Almost as if it's a reflex, he jumps towards the center robot and with a chop motion going downwards, he uses one fall and splits the robot using his good arm. You can just see the explosion of the robot tearing apart. He lands on the other side over where the robot was. He then continues on to the next area, with only a few of his students in front of him. In the second area, he looks out and sees the tables and that he would have to travel across them to get to the next platform. He switches the mobility suit from balance to jump mode and he jumps using one for all and he lands on the other side. Jumping mode allows for better spring-like movement in his legs, allowing him to jump further. He lands on the other side and only sees one other student in front of him. It was the one that froze the area before. Deku realizes that this is Todoroki. He's now focused on making it towards the end of the event. Todoroki sees him and decides to make an ice wall behind him and then decides to ice the whole area so that he can get to the end as quickly as possible. His ice path covers the landmines and Deku realizing that the area was full of landmines decides that there is only one way to win this. He changes to the third mode, Turbo. He begins to run as fast as he can, his legs moving like robotic how they repeat the same action over and over and over. Picking up speed with every rotation, he's sprinting full out towards the end and as he runs over each landmine, it goes off behind him as he's moving faster than the landmines can trigger at. Just behind him is a massive wall of explosions. He's now catching Todoroki who is near the end. As they get towards the end, Deku just overtakes Todoroki crossing the finish line and coming in second place. He hears that he only got second place and looks at the times. He finished in just over 10 minutes, but the person in first place finished in barely under one minute. He looked over to see Mirio. Deku thinks to himself, this guy was able to finish this event 10 times faster than I could. On top of that, I didn't even see him pass me. After everyone else finishes the event, it is announced that the second event will be a K-1 
cavalry battle, Ochako and Ida join Deku as they don't want him to push himself too much. On top of that, his large amount of points was a huge help, as they finished towards the end of the groups. All the other teams were similar to the original timeline. The second event begins. Straight away Ochako, who was on top, lightens the two of them. Deku activates balance mode, and he begins to shoot out small shockwaves at the groups trying to make them spread out while Ida runs at the groups taking them out one by one. They were able to take out a few of the class B teams with relative ease by just overpowering them and catching them off guard. There seems to be a massive wall of ice over towards the middle. Mirio, who is up against Todoroki's group, has Momo and Dark Shadow on his team and because of that he was able to defend against Todoroki's group and their large scale ice attacks against them. They were able to last to the end of the time limit and were able to successfully win due to that. Now this video is a bit shorter than most but before I end today's video I'd like to explain what exactly these three different modes that Deku has with his new mobility suit. It has the first mode which is balance. This is the default mode. This mode allows him to use his legs as if they were normal legs for the most part, though their movement is a bit robotic-y still and still requires further tuning. They don't allow for full sprinting and they don't allow for massive jumping either. The second mode, called Turbo, this mode increases the movement speed of the mobility suit. However, the draw pack is he can only sprint so fast for so long otherwise the suit will burn out and will either be locked in place or if he's lucky he just won't be able to use turbo mode. The final is jumping or booster. I'm not 100% sure on what to call it so please leave your thoughts in the comments section letting me know what you think or you could message me on discord and let me know. Anyway, booster allows him to jump over 10 times the distance he normally could using balance mode. Anyway. That's it for this part everyone, part 9 will be out next week sometime, thank you all for watching and I hope you have an amazing day, don't forget to join my discord and if you feel like supporting the channel on patreon that's always an option. Today's hashtag is hashtag booster and peace out mortals have an amazing day.